This was the scene inside the mosque in Cairo's Ramses Square as supporters of the deposed President Mohamed Morsi barricaded themselves in. It was filmed by a member of the Muslim Brotherhood who say they're under siege. The military regards them as terrorists. Outside, security forces in riot gear line the steps of the building. Some have entered the mosque peacefully to negotiate with the protesters and persuade them to leave. At night, Egypt is meant to be in lockdown, but despite the dusk till dawn curfew, the fighting continues. Relentless gunfire is becoming the soundtrack to many Egyptian cities. With bullets raining down, darkness offers only limited cover. This is a situation the Foreign Office says is deeply concerning. For now, though, the travel advice remains the same, that the Red Sea resorts, including Sharm el-Sheikh, are safe. But the travel to other parts of Egypt should be avoided. And here's why. After Wednesday's violent clashes, which claim more than 600 lives, the anger is not subsiding. Following Friday prayers, the Muslim Brotherhood urged supporters to take part in a day of rage. The result was even more death. With the military authorised to use live ammunition, those who couldn't run from the bullets had to find other ways to escape. As the world watches and condemns, these protesters say they'll be back on the streets every day for the next week. Enda Brady, Sky News.